Hey everyone, Andy here at the Panasonic booth at NAB, and I'm checking out the Panasonic 3D camera. This is the 3D A1. This is a Panasonic's first 3D camera with that stereoscopic lens. There's two lenses in one, and if you look at the camera, you're going to think it looks just very much like a HPX 170 or an HMC 150, and really it is very similar. It has an LCD on the side here. We flipped out and rotated it around two XLR inputs and so on. But what you're going to notice, of course, besides the giant 3D lens, this is a, uh, a binocular style lens. I have two actual optics here. Uh, is that I also have two SDI outputs in the back. This is going to give me two separate feeds, one from each, uh, len each lens and each sensor. There's two one-third inch sensors in there, and they'll feed that out independently so I can get uh, 3D out to a monitor. Here I am, the 3D monitor here from Panasonic. Uh, taking both feeds. Now, if you look at the side of the camera, I have a sort of traditional dial that I would have on a 170 or a HVX 200, uh, but I can set that dial to be either iris or convergence. So if I take that dial into convergence, I can adjust my convergence point here and here. If I pan back over to the, to the model here, you can see I can adjust my convergence right on the screen. Uh, so uh, that's how I'm adjusting uh, the camera's convergence point. I can, of course, zoom in, adjust my iris, focus just right on the lens there. So again, it's very much like a standard uh, camera. I, it records to AVC HD in, in, in camera to two SDHC cards. Here on the side, two SDHC cards, uh, separate fe video feeds. Take that into post, and then I work with the 3D from there. Additionally, if I don't want to use that recording, take that SDI output, that's a 10-bit 422 output, and record something else like a Cinedec or a Nano 3D, and get even higher quality video. So that's it for now. See you next time.